Years ago, this, this whole area of the Arctic Ocean would have been covered in ice. Um, and now, as the ice is receding during the summer, these areas are becoming exposed. And so we now have the ability to monitor what species live here. The race is on to investigate the rich ecosystem of the Arctic Ocean. Dr. Kirsten Thompson is among those using new technologies to identify species roaming the frigid northern waters. The Arctic is quite rich in biodiversity and it provides um, habitat for a whole number of different species, many of which are very specific to those areas. There's a lot about the Arctic that we don't know and, the, and huge knowledge gaps, so we need to really focus our attention on understanding this ecosystem much better. Thompson is using eDNA sampling to detect whether an animal has visited certain waters. What we're doing here is we're collecting environmental DNA from the seawater. E stands for environmental DNA. And what it is, it's just all of the DNA that's in the cells that are sloughed off animals as they pass through the water. So that could be uh, mucus, skin, poo, whatever has passed through that water and left behind a trail of cells. We may be able to detect by just filtering the water and trapping those cells on a specialized filter the hope is that doing so will help build a case for marine protected zones before increased human activity further destabilizes this part of the world. Currently, there are no environmental protection areas covering the waters of the North Pole. Scientists believe the Arctic could be free of sea ice in the summer within decades. This would make it an attractive route for intercontinental shipping, which brings with it the risk of accidents and oil spills. Much of the Arctic ecosystem is unprotected and this is really quite a concern because um, as the ice recedes and this whole area warms and is changing so rapidly, it means that it's now quite vulnerable to the impact of human activities. And that's why we really, really need uh, a very strong global ocean treaty to protect these areas.